increasing DHT. So they have a really good benefit. When women get the short end of the stick is with low thyroid, and as they go into perimenopause, they have that big drop in estrogen and progesterone. That's where women get nailed outside of just having gut issues and not getting the raw material in. So that's where they get nailed. So be mindful of that. Men get nailed because of that AR enzyme, but all the other food stuff too. So natural things you can do, you can do red light. I have a red laser light. I have a capillus cap and there's certain frequencies in the mid 600s that are really good for stimulating hair. So I have a hair frequency here at 635. And so I'll do it on my sideburns like this, or I'll do it right here like this. And then you can have, um, I have my green light, my green glasses here. I actually put them away in the case, but you can do this. I wear a cap cause it's easier, but you can, you know, I'll be on the phone with patients and I'll, I'll do my little wand here in my sideburns or I'll do my facial hair here or I'll do it over my thyroid. I'll change frequencies for the thyroid frequency and I'll do my thyroid too. But a cap's better because it's just, it's there. And then you have that perfect uh, 90 degree angle where it's coming in at. Uh, but this is a powerful laser too. So red light's great. Again, five, eight percent, maybe 10 percent max on a red light. Don't go into a red light, invest thousands and think, oh, this is going to be it. It's going to be one tool in your tool belt. And if you have the money and the resources, great, do it. If not, work on foundational things first. Second thing, you, women, topical castor oil is wonderful. Topical rosemary is wonderful. Uh, good shampoo is great. For my men, you know, saw palmetto, wonderful. Topical at night is great. A milliliter, spread it out, massage it in. Um, and or saw palmetto orally. Um, that's going to be a good thing. And then you can also add in microneedling women too. microneedling once a week around one millimeter around the scalp. It's going to be great. Get a microneedling pen. That's perfect. And then we have medications. I, I do think if you are struggling and you're still losing hair and you're, you're three, you're like six months plus in and you're not getting some kind of resolution, you may want to think about a low dose finasteride liposomal topical. That may be a good thing to reduce DHT. Again, you'll see side effects of finasteride out there. The way you can mitigate that, data shows only about 2%, all right? And the biggest reason why people get a, a side effect of finasteride is because you will increase testosterone when you take finasteride by 20%. And if you're a man and you're already aromatizing, you're already converting T to E, guess what? If you're already aromatizing and you start increasing your T, now you can increase your estrogen and that's why you're going to get gynecomastia. That's why you're going to get low libido and brain fog because your hormones are off. So before you do anything, get your full hormonal panel tested before you go. And that way, if you see an issue, you can come back and test it and see what the issue is. The, the way you can mitigate a lot of that is you microdose and you do topical. That's a good way. Now you want to work with a clinician that can monitor your bloods, check out where you're at, but you can mitigate a lot of it. And again, my thing is, there's a hierarchy. 